Hello everyone and welcome to this, my latest Thompson Friends Adventures unveiling, unboxing, whatever you like to call it. And as you can see I have two models here um, that came today, but we'll put this one aside for now and we will look at this one here. As it says Metal Engine and the character on there is Steelworks Frankie and of the other translations there for him. And of course Frankie is the new character that will be appearing in Journey Beyond Sodor. I was corrected on that title uh, when I was doing my complete Series 18 DVD unboxing. Um, thanks for that. So yes, this is for the new movie and he is one of the experimental engines on the mainland. And uh, one of the things I really like about this, other than the fact that the all the new adventure toys have the uh, old style coupling rather reminiscent to that of the Ertl range, uh, is that uh, these engines bec have become much more compact and uh, much more sort of manageable for young children and everything, which is great in one respect. But one of the arguments is, is that the detail is lost on some of these. But I've got to say, like with Hugo and uh, now here with Frankie, you can see there's quite a lot of detail here. Uh, you can see the grill, the pipe works and everything, uh, the valves and all that going on, the cab windows and everything. It's You know, there is there is a fair amount of detail. Obviously, I haven't actually got these working because I haven't actually unpackaged any of them as yet, but I might get one of the more common models like Percy or Thomas or something and give them a give them a run so I can give them a proper review of how they work. Um, for some reason it has 20, does it have 20, is it 2016 on there? Can't quite focus it. Oh, and now it's just gone mad. Let's just pull that back a bit, shall we? We'll return to that. But yeah, one of the one of my objections to the adventures uh, is the packaging. I I really like this. I I don't. I really really like this. Don't get me wrong. And I I quite like the uh, f uh, the format design. I'm just not very keen on the colour scheme. I'm not a massive fan of this sort of half rainbow effect. And I really don't like these patterns that they throw. These little shapes and everything that they throw in there. I would much prefer just a sort of blank cover. You know, with sky or around here, and maybe you know, sort of like the train tracks and everything along here, and uh, with a picture, and also at the back, as you can see, it's the sort of bog standard Thomas, James, Emily, Toby, Percy, Henry, and Gordon right in the corner there, with all this mishmash translations. Uh, some are different because some uh, have the uh, foreign interpretations on here, but some just have the English. Uh, translation on there so they, the back of packaging can vary but it would be nice if instead we had uh, a little picture of the actual engine or character that appears like Frankie does on the front there have it there with a little description of the character and his personality as well as sort of maybe some facts about the actual engine itself so that is a bit of a shame but um, they haven't changed that and we haven't really seen that since the early days of take along Thomas, which was a long time ago now. Um, so let's see. I just want to. I, I just want to see if it actually says um, 2016 on there. It should say 2016, but for some reason it says 2013. It says 2013 Mattel or Mattel. Sorry, 2013 Mattel, which is unusual. So um, it seems to have been made quite a while ago. Yeah, that's definitely 2013 on there. That's very interesting. But uh, I don't know if that is reference to uh, the whole Learning Curve or the Fisher-Price franchise um, or if it is was actually manufactured back in 2013. Who knows? So there's the box and everything. And as you can see, pretty standard. And uh, you see, like I said, there's a lot of good detail on here. You can see on there the little details all painted in there. I think it's, is that a whistle? I think that may be a whistle. And the funnel's got the gold uh, dome at the top there. And uh, yeah, it's very nicely painted, very nicely detailed. And then you see on the side there, obviously, it says Frankie. So I think this one, or you know, nice and compact as it is. But uh, I think it's sort of trying to remain true to the actual character in the uh, in the movie. We will see. But that is still works, Frankie. And uh, this only recently came out. Um, I got this on eBay myself. Um, it's now available, I think, on Amazon in the UK. Um, I don't know if any shops are selling it at the moment, but I thought get it as soon as possible. 
put it on YouTube, be one of the first to have this new item for you guys to enjoy and to see hopefully exclusively here on this channel. So um, yeah, that's Steelworks Frankie. And next is a slightly earlier model that came out in the Thomas and Friends Adventures range. And I wasn't sure if I was gonna get this, but I heard that this is now uh, a special edition version. And um, although I, I, I think it's quite common to see this on Amazon and eBay and in the shops, um, it might end up becoming uh, a sort of a limited edition purchase because of it being the 1945 special edition of Thomas in his original uh, livery so I thought I might as well just purchase this and it is a very nice model I do really like the colour scheme on there and uh, and the striping on the top is is very different to how Thomas is designed when he's painted blue the stripe and colour scheme and everything obviously is very different obviously he's got his green wheels and uh, of course it says original Thomas on there and uh, the date says 2012 on that one so it says 2012 on this one as well so yeah it's very confusing these whole dates thing but a uh, really nice picture there of Thomas pretty much the same as uh, his classic design a bit of tumbleweed obviously uh, this video is dragging and rather boring but <laughs> we'll, we'll plow through it shall we um, yeah, very nice that they've uh, coloured that, but it looks like the classic Thomas packaging that you would get in the Adventures range. But yeah, so there we go. And Thomas's face looks pretty much exactly the same as it does in the ordinary range that he has. It's just that literally the paintwork and design is what's different. And on the back, we have a slightly different, have a slightly different uh, back to the uh, Steelworks Frankie packaging as you can see which is good uh, this is more, much more like it so original design it says and there's Thomas with the special edition but no descriptions or any little synopsis on his character here no it doesn't but uh, it's it's nice to, it's nice to have a little picture of the uh, the toy itself it just would have been nice if there was a little caption there instead of all this scribble but there we go. So there is the 1945 special edition of Thomas in his original livery as featured in The Adventure Begins, which would have been nice uh, if it had been put on the top there because a lot of the take and play and, and, uh, and well, mostly the take and play range, when uh, there was a, uh, a character released from one of the upcoming movies, uh, usually they would have the title like Day of the Diesels or uh, King of the Railway plastered on the packaging somewhere. Um, which it hasn't got on this, and uh, it hasn't got that for Frankie either. So we've got Metal Engine blasted up there, but nothing to suggest that it is from the upcoming movie, which is which is a bit of a shame. But there we go. So these are the two toys that I have purchased. I'm very happy with these, and uh, there might be a couple of more coming in the near future. But uh, exclusive here. The Steelworks Frankie, one of the latest models to come out in the Thomas and Friends Adventures range. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed this and um, I will be back with some more updates and unboxings and all the rest of it. Um, I've got another Ertl update coming up, but that's going to be um, very... Excuse me, uh, I suddenly got possessed then. Um, yeah, uh, the uh, that will be a bit complicated, that one. That's going to be a big video because there's been a lot of Ertl Thomas toys that I've purchased for uh, over the last few months, which I haven't actually shown off yet. So that might be quite a long video. But uh, this is the Thomas and Friends Adventures range here. And uh, I hope you enjoy this video. And don't forget, like, subscribe, share and comment. And I will see you folks on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Uh, Choo-choo.